Swingers clubs could soon be a thing of the past in Fort Wayne. Tonight, two proposals were introduced to city council that would ban those clubs and put more restrictions on strip clubs in the city. Wayne 15's Tony Sandlaben was at the meeting, and he joins us now with the details. Tony, what are people saying about this? Well, Tara and Dirk, reactions to this have ranged from it's good for the city and it will decrease sex trafficking to it's bad for the city and not fair to these businesses. The two ordinances were introduced without council discussion tonight, but that didn't stop the public from speaking out. These types of uh, sexually oriented businesses are, are not a part of who we are and what we're going to draw and how we're going to build positively as a, as a city and a community. Fort Wayne City Council is now considering two ordinances. One that will ban swingers clubs entirely, as well as another that will put more restrictions on strip clubs and adult stores, such as requiring licenses to operate or to be an employee. The city cited the risk of spreading sexually transmitted diseases as one of the reasons for these ordinances. But not everyone feels these businesses spread STDs. But I just attended the Board of Health quarterly meeting and the sexually oriented businesses didn't come up one time when they were talking about that. They were more concerned about the statistics and the facts that the numbers have doubled in the past decade. So when I'm reading this, I'm thinking, well, the number of strip clubs hasn't doubled. City Councilman Jeff Paddock says the location of one of these businesses is what has him concerned. One allegedly is near uh, a school in my district and a neighborhood in my district uh, within sight of a, a playground and a swimming pool. Uh, so those are things that are of concern to me. Still, people who are members of places like the Champagne Club say the concerns of STDs and sex trafficking are unfounded. One identified himself as Kevin. Not a snowball's chance in hell at uh, the Champagne Club. There's nobody that I've met there that would ever pay anyone for sex. And if anyone caught word of that, myself included, I would guarantee that uh, that person would be handled appropriately and the authorities called as necessary. Kevin also says the Champagne Club has members who he says are, out, are upstanding citizens and represent the best of our community. The ordinances will be discussed publicly by City Council in two weeks. Live in studio, Tony Sandlaben, Wayne 15 News.